Now to the developing story out of Pelham, where investigators are still piecing together why a man walked into a wedding ceremony inside a church yesterday morning and shot two people. WMUR's Monica Hernandez leads our team coverage this morning. She joins us live now from the scene. Good morning to you, Monica. Good morning, Amy. Well, imagine going to a wedding, celebrating your loved ones, and then a gunman walks in. That's exactly what happened here yesterday morning at New England Pentecostal Ministries. And nearly 24 hours later, this church is still a crime scene. You can see police still here, crime tape still up. Services are canceled today as church members continue to pray for those who were shot. A celebration turned into a crime scene Saturday morning after a man opened fire at a wedding ceremony. Responding officers arrived within three minutes of the call. Those officers found wedding guests at New England Pentecostal Ministries had already pinned the suspect down. From my understanding is they basically gang tackled him. There was a struggle ensued. Minor injuries occurred to the other guests who were in the struggle with the shooter. The suspected gunman is in custody, charged with first degree assault. He's identified as 37 year old Dale Holloway. The New Hampshire Attorney General's office says this is the man he shot. 75 year old Bishop Stanley Choate, seen here in a previous interview with WMUR. Bishop Choate is currently receiving treatment at Tufts Medical Center in Boston, Massachusetts. He is listed in serious condition. The bride, 60 year old Claire McMullen, was also hit. Suffered a gunshot wound to her arm. She's being treated at a local hospital right now and is in good condition. Her groom, 60-year-old Mark Castiglione, was also hospitalized for a head injury. Officials say he was hit with some type of object. He's the father of Brandon Castiglione, who is accused of murdering Luis Garcia a few weeks ago in Londonderry. Garcia was a minister at the same church. Whether there is, in fact, a clear connection between these two events, that is something we're trying to put together. Well, the shooting happened just hours before a memorial was planned for Minister Luis Garcia. As for the suspect, he is scheduled to be arraigned Tuesday and could face more charges. Live in Pelham, Monica Hernandez, WMUR News 9.